Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. We'll focus on Bitcoin on this video <clears throat> with a little bit of an overview of the Bitcoin dominance chart, although I have to say it's completely messed up at the moment with some weird anomaly wick. That's not a real life wick, that's just a... It does this some. It does this sometimes. They'll fix it, over, you know, in the in the coming days, I'm sure. But for the moment, yeah, it's a bit messed up. But I suppose the same analysis applies, uh, and we'll just uh, recap on that. So Bitcoin coming down to here, pretty much where we expected it to a couple of days back. So uh, the top. And, and look, I'm not saying that this is the top, but we, we looked at the money flow index and we recognized that, you know, Bitcoin, unlike most altcoins, doesn't, well, most crypto general altcoins, you know, like most uh, coins in the cryptocurrency ecosystem, should we say? I don't, I don't know what the right terminology is. I got told off as calling Bepro a shitcoin the other day, so... I have, to, I have to be careful, don't want to offend anybody, but yeah, uh, Bitcoin, unlike other um, assets within the asset class of cryptocurrency, doesn't like being above about 90, 90, uh, a 90 read, basically, over here on the um, on the money flow index. Uh, and so, you know, the, the, the law of averages would su suggest that uh, we, were, we were looking down the barrel of a gun for a pullback, yeah? Uh, and that's where we decided to call it, saying, uh, look, it might go on from here, but generally speaking, uh, it's unlikely to go too much further at this stage, right? So it's done quite well. You, know, you can see the money flow index shoot straight up like that, and that's massive, really. That is that is that is a very big move up, very big, very fast. And normally, when you see something along those lines, uh, it does have to come down because that's like not FOMO, but uh, it's just it just it just doesn't like going up like that. All right, it's just not the way uh, a constructive money flow index should should go. And so uh, we've already we've already hit the, the the more or less that that trend line there, and we're coming down. We're going up a little bit now, um, which is okay. You know, we can dance around that top a little bit for a while. Uh, but uh, but yeah, the the the, uh, the the top has been marked for this current little run, uh, and we're back within more or less. Yeah, we've been in here for the entire time. The, the accumulation zone, the center portion of the accumulation zone, we've got the outside range here and here, we've got the inside range where the majority of the price action takes place, and this is where we're going to remain until it breaks out with conviction. Uh, now, there are aspects of the chart that look good. You know, we are, we have our green portion over here, which is great. Uh, you know, we, we've got price above the cloud. We don't have the GQ span above the cloud. So we can't look for, you know, another massive push all the way up to 49.50, which is where we need to break for this to go bullish again, in my opinion. I'm sure other people are saying other things. Uh, but for the moment, this entire area is an accumulation. We're back in the inside range. That's fine. Um, you know, it's, it's going to take a little bit of time. So that's... That's Bitcoin on the daily coming down still. Look, it might even come down further. We, you know, we did have a, a a bottom area target for this pullback to come down to, which is basically the center of the Bollinger Band, the 20 daily moving average. About as of today, 35,500, and that is still plausible considering that the money flow index is is still quite high. We've got the MACD turning down quite steep in a way, and um, momentum shifting. We also on the four hourly, if we go down to the four hourly. Um, we still have that uh, bearish divergence playing out. That that could easily have played out by now. Could easily have played out. Um, and you know, I'm not I'm not suggesting that uh, that this is uh, anything other than just a temporary pullback after such a nice big move up. Uh, but that's that's basically what it is. So we've got a descending channel here. We all know what happens with descending channels. They break to the up more often than not. Uh, so the RSI is likely to remain in this kind of vibe and until um, until it bounces um, and, and breaks out. And that's fine. Money flow index on the on the four hourly though, heavily oversold. So like I say, it's a difficult place to trade in an accumulation phase. Um, so it could go up, it could go down. The daily favors further downside, the four hourly favors a bit of upside. Um, you know, conflicting information there, and, and that's basically what accumulation ends up being like, to be honest. It just ends up being that way. Now, if we just go down to the four hourly, what we'll have a look at here is, all right, so we've broken down below all major moving averages. They're also, um, sort of, I suppose, pushing the outer rim here of the Bollinger Band. Uh, and this does lend itself to a further push down to about 36. So there are other areas, you know, of specific interest where we could bounce from if we do continue to break down. Now, the main impact of all of this, I suppose, is going to be on altcoins. So we looked on the live stream uh, it might be the last time we looked at it that um, the the uh, the amount of money that's flowing into the market at the time so this was last uh, Saturday when we were looking at this basically half a trillion dollars had entered the market in a, uh, in a 12 day period so within t within a two-week period yeah 
half a trillion. And that money had pretty much entered the market equally, which is why we see alts and Bitcoin going up uh, with a little bit extra moving into Bitcoin, which is why the Bitcoin dominance chart had been on a bit of a rally um, and now it's now it's pulling back. And again, this chart is a fine mess, I have to say. Um, uh, but we had a Ichimoku cloud conversion baseline signal here above the cloud with the Chiku span above price. Uh, and uh, this generally uh, works out pretty well for a continued uptrend until proven otherwise. And at the moment, we don't have an exit signal. Um, if this were to be a trade, we'd have an exit signal on it. And so you, you trust this trend until it tells you that the trend is end. Now, it never tells you the bottom and it never gives you the top, but it tells you when it's over. Uh, and that's a good thing for us if we're looking to trade into altcoins, because for the moment, we have to assume that Bitcoin can extend this run um, uh, because the indicator suggests that it will. Um, but when the run is finally over, um, it doesn't mean that it will come collapsing right back down, but it gives us an idea that uh, that, that one specific trend uh, has finished. And not that a downtrend will then ensue, but alts will have a little bit of power at that point. Now, I'm personally looking to, uh, to, to get in on some more alts, or should I say, I mean, I have been picking up a few alts, you know, uh, recently. Um, but only small amounts, yeah, because my main strategy is to is to bang into alts big time and at least rotate my Bitcoin into alts when we reach areas of significant resistance. So I've been dabbling in some alts, um, but uh, but not much. I mean, I'm, I'm mainly I've got what I want and I'll leave it as it is. Uh, but I did pick up a few a few extras, uh, you know, over the last couple of days, I suppose. That's okay, but the main thing for me would be I'm not looking to see any massive moves on the majority of altcoins until we reach a rejection. Now we already reached a rejection point here, which basically corresponds to the day to the weekly 20 uh, moving average or the center of the Bollinger Band, yeah. Um, but you know, as much as this was a rejection from a very strong moving average, um, the daily still continues or wants to continue that uptrend based upon the Ichimoku cloud. So I have to give that the benefit of the doubt rather than the fact that we were rejected on the first major area of uh, significance. This is the first time we've hit this uh, or even been close to the 20 weekly since all the way back down here in February. Uh, and uh, so so it's been, it's been a while and the obvious place I suppose would be getting rejected from there. Now I think that whether we go up or down or sideways to be honest with you with Bitcoin, um, the inevitable um, the inevitable situation with this Bitcoin dominance chart is that it's going to move up and should be rejected either 52 uh, to 53 or 57 to 58 percent dominant. It doesn't have to happen that way. It doesn't have to happen, uh, but it's likely that it will. And that all that means is if you're holding Bitcoin uh, opposed to holding alts. You will either lose less money in a downtrend or make more money in an uptrend. Now, obviously, there'll be people hearing that and going, "What are you talking about? There's there's all kinds that go in 50% in a day." Uh, yeah, of course there is. I'm not saying this is the same. This is the situation for all altcoins ever, um, but generally as a whole, you know, if you look into, I suppose, uh, have some form of risk to reward ratio, playing a volatile market in a safe way. I like to always reference the Bitcoin dominance chart to see which side has got the most power, which side is, is more risky. And to be honest, since uh, since for a long time now, all the way down, to be honest, at least uh, on our way getting down closer to here, um, it became more and more and more obvious that the, the longer you hold alts, um, the more deadly it could be. And I did alternate into alts, you know, uh, I mean, out of alts into Bitcoin, pretty much at the top of where Bitcoin was, uh, going into Tether and into Bitcoin, just in case it broke out, but obviously in case it broke down. And it worked out better than if I'd have just been holding alts, obviously, <clears throat> because we all saw what happened in the crash. So uh, if you're going to sustain a crash, you might as well sustain a smaller crash <laughs> and be in Bitcoin than in altcoins. Anyway, that's all done and dusted. Uh, but now the same kind of risk is we've got the same kind of vibe going on as far as risk is concerned when Bitcoin dominance is low and it is still quite low. Historically, this is quite a low read for Bitcoin dominance. Um, alts still remain risky, uh, you know, until we get a, a better or a higher read where we can get a, a better rejection. Now, like I say, I'm, I am big into alts. I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist. I just um, I just have a strategy that I try to employ 
keep it safe, keep it simple. And, and this is a major component to that. But anyway, that's the deal with Bitcoin. Um, a further downside, very likely, but um, the four hourly could offer a small, um, a small portion of upside, maybe today. But I think, um, I think if we've already reached the bottom, that's fair enough. But a, another big, bigger push up will only be brought back down again. Uh, given the way that the daily looks. So we're not quite ready to make that big breakout. It's not quite ready for that. There, there, there's definitely more opportunity for further downside or at least sideways consolidation. Um, so I'm not really looking for any massive big moves up or massive moves down. I kind of look into trend back within this zone, which is where we've been trending for a while. And that's perfectly fine. We want we want to accumulate for a longer period of time. Give everybody more opportunity to pick some Bitcoin up if that's what you want to do. Um, but again, while in this accumulation phase, there's always risk that it could break down. Always. Of course there is. And just because we've gone up like this so far uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to recover and go all the way to the moon. So there is always that risk. So it's always worth thinking about that. That Yeah, we're back in here. We've had a nice big move. But, you know, in downtrends, you, you know, you can have big moves. In, in in bear markets, you can have big moves, right? So this is, I'm not saying that we're in a bear market or anything, but I'm just, just letting you know. This is the 2017 into 18 top. You know, that was your, I suppose, a dead cat bounce. This was a, a breakdown and then you know imagine seeing this you know when you wake up whoops uh, imagine seeing that when you wake up um, that uh, that feels like everything's okay again doesn't it I mean I suppose I mean I was around at the time heavily skeptical throughout to be honest with you especially because you should have seen what was going on with altcoins at the time but I mean you would you would feel relatively okay to say all right finally the bottom is in and we have gone up a hundred percent and then hang on oh not that da- oh bloody hell. that's okay we've double bottomed here okay we're going back up again uh, it's okay it's okay don't worry about it and whoa all the way down so these things can happen right so we're not out of the woods yet we're assuming that the bottom is in and we're assuming that this is still an accumulation zone uh, and we're assuming that everything is going to pan out okay towards the end of the year um but you know assumptions you know they can be deadly and so we just have to tr- uh, treat this you know day at a time nice calm casual and relaxed now in the favor of the bulls we do have a nice four hourly death cross uh, Whoa, is that a Freudian slip? We've got a, uh, a four-hourly golden cross. And as I said when we got this, I said, do not be at all surprised if this uh, golden cross gets dumped into, because that that is generally what happens with golden crosses. Um, we, we get a golden cross, there's a nice big rally, then there's a dump down into it, and then it continues. Now, this is only a four-hourly. Four-hourly golden crosses, you know, they are worth something. They are the start of potentially a, a, a decent trend. Uh, but it doesn't mean we can't dump down into it. Um, and... Uh, we yeah you know, we look at lots of altcoins especially on the on the live stream you know the patreon live stream it became almost like an expectation get a golden cross get a run get a dump down into it continue the run and uh, and and uh, and basically that's where the run really begins you know that's where the big moves really begin so the the same methods could be applied here because it generally you know, more often than not, that's how these charts often play out. So this is your golden cross. This is your dump. If we get a dump down to the two exponential, it's actually quite fine. And uh, I wouldn't say it's healthy, but it's almost pretty normal behavior. Um, so again, I'm not massively concerned about the, the price. All I'm looking to um, put across here is that we're still accumulating in the inside range. And until we break out of the outside range, that's when we go bullish. Uh, as in like really 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 bullish and I did think that we'll be in this period here for you know the, the majority of the summer last time I checked still pretty warm outside so uh, as far as I'm concerned we're just gonna have to leave this one to play out but be cautious of alts definitely um, because as as the market is generally trending as one with Bitcoin and money is being distributed evenly into the alts and into Bitcoin it wouldn't take much for a shift if Bitcoin breaks out and the Bitcoin dominance to uh, to increase or if the market it took another di- uh, uh, deeper dive down back to 33,000 uh, for uh, money to leave alts, uh, you know, twice or three times faster than Bitcoin. But for the moment, boring, sideways, up, down. The only place it's not going to go is left. I'm not looking for big breakouts, nor am I looking for big breakdowns. So in many ways, there's not really much point of me making this video because uh, there's not a great deal more to say about that. But uh, like I say, I'll make some other videos today. I've got a bit of a day off today, and uh, and I will. Uh, after I've done the washing, and the hoovering, and the ironing, I will uh, I will make another video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.